exactly. All of this was an asinine publicity stunt from a lying president. But... You... You... Wow. That was epic. Nice job on that breakdown. You're wrong. I... He reveals his true form. This isn't <laughs> even his final form. <laughs> no, it's not. The gun which fired the bullet that took the victim's life. It belongs to you, Horace Knightley. You're the one who stole the work's life. You are the true assassin. Oh, yes, here we go. I, 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 I'm, I'm... <laughs> Here it comes. Checkmate. Checkmate. <laughs> that really hurt. <laughs> Frank Sawit, what are you hiding, you scoundrel? Ooh, no, I ain't. I am not. That is, you're wrong. I know what I saw. Uh, oh. <gasps> to pay uh, attack. There oh, it is. It's <laughs> Shut up already. Stop making a fuss about every little thing I say. You're just a defense attorney's assistant. He has finally shown his true self. Yeah. Whoa, I guess yeah. that cat's out of the bag. <laughs> Trying to buy more time for your escape attempt. But I'm afraid to say that your plan still ended in failure. Now then, hand over the keys to Nightly's cell. Ugh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh well. That's an intense breakdown, I love that one. That was yeah. great! Now we are the boxing world champion. Good job, Elbert! Oh. No way, how can an amateur like you knock me out? That's Wait, Elber, Coaster yeah, die? Got... Yeah, Coaster actually there got, got knocked out by that. He <laughs> <laughs> got, got so <laughs> into character. <laughs> Patricia Rowland, the real murder weapon is more uh, is none other than Dojin's knife. And the one who murdered Horace Knightley can only be you. <gasps> Dojin was the evil one. I didn't do anything wrong! He was completely reasonable! That guy was one of Dodger's henchmen! Him! If only had he never come to my home! I... I could only still be happy. My special paradise. He ruined it! All of it! Him! That no good assassin! Him! Him! That man. Hey, we can see your titles now. No, I'm exposed. The block of ice was not encased in a glass case. In other words, the tablecloth was in direct contact with the block of ice. If we have it examined, we will undoubtedly find traces of sherbet on it. Miss Hall, you will turn your tablecloth over to the police at once. There's no need to examine the tablecloth. Hmm. <laughs> it is just as you say. I stole the poison from Madame Delicia and I moved the body. I have done... I have done terrible things. Objection! For the last 18 years, an innocent man has suffered greatly in your steed. Mr. Gustavia, it's now time for you to atone for your crimes. Bitch. What? I no. fedora. 
<laughs> I had finally earned my place as the world's greatest confectioner in the world. <laughs> to achieve that goal, I cast everything aside, even my own soon. <laughs> what a shame. You can't run from your crimes any longer. Thank you, Stavi has been taken into custody, sir. Um, yeah, so you're up next, right? Yes, I understand. Kate. Everyone, I am truly sorry for all the trouble I caused. And thank you very much for catching Monsieur Gustavia. <clears throat> what you did cannot be overlooked. Even if the crimes you committed were in response to a past injustice. As a prosecutor, I am terribly sorry for what happened. No, no. I'm only getting what I deserve. Since I was the cause of all this. Kate, will you have me as your attorney? I'm not quite the same useless kid I was 18 years ago. I won't let them find you guilty. today to tell you everything we've learned about 18 years ago. 18 years ago? Yes. Kate? Kate committed a crime for my sake? Why would she do such a thing? Miss Hall has been trying to prove your innocence for the past 18 years. She was willing to do whatever it took to save you. Kate? She shouldn't have gone through so much trouble for an old man who let her down. Mr. Master, I don't think you realize just how much Miss Hall cares for you. I have something here that clearly proves the two of you share an unbreakable bond. <laughs> an unbreakable bond? Proof of the bond between what's... Take that! These chocolates? <sighs> did Kate make them? She did. <laughs> They're really sweet and tasty. She's been making these shows for the past 18 years so that she could give them to you whenever you return. Kate. <laughs> I'm sure they are very, very sweet. Yes, they truly are. If this is where you were under the cherry tree, then someone behind the stand. <clears throat> wouldn't have any ground to stand on. They'd be floating in midair. No person should be able to stand there. But I... I'm not lying. <gasps> Someone red! Someone in red was on the other side of the stand. <laughs> They were walking towards me, uh, getting closer and closer, and then... Uh, that person! That person! Uh, what, what, what's wrong? Uh, oh, calm down, it's, it's, it's alright. Me, me and Mr. Thread with the boat here for you, pal. Uh, I, I was pushed off. That person in red. Yes, they were wearing a uh, red raincoat. <sighs> uh, when I heard your words just now, I could barely hold back my tears, you know. It was just so splendid, you see. And it burns me up inside. I'm not the most perfect piece of work, you know. Uh, so I can't forgive for such youthfulness. You say the truth is important, but you know... 
once you know the real value that you'll hold. I wonder if you can still say the same thing. What are you trying to say? <laughs> and when you get to where I am, you can just create your own truths. <laughs> anytime you want. K Faraday is a culprit. <laughs> that was the truth that I simply manufactured out of thin air. <laughs> Good, very good. That face, that expression. <laughs> you are such a desperate one, you see. That's why I really wanted to bore you, you know. You see, even if you know the truth, there is simply nothing you can do. And that's the real value of truth. So shocking that I should die for, you know. Why won't you pursue the true culprit? How much of the truth do you know? Do you understand now? <laughs> the truth that you believe in <laughs> is worthless, you see? Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you, poorless former prosecutor? You! <laughs> oh, scary, scary! <laughs> you know, I guess the friends of a heinous criminal are also quite heinous themselves. Please, you! And like this, you see, one more person will disappear before me. Oh, here come the waterworks. These tears of mine just won't stop, you know. <laughs> if she wore the victim's mask, she could have easily taken her place. Miss Jensen, did you switch places with the victim? I, I, I wouldn't. Who was the conductor? In other words, tell me, who was the true culprit? I, I, I can't, I mean, that would cause trouble for Granny. I, ouch! Oh, uh, but Granny? I will accept whatever wrongs you may have done. Just tell me everything. <laughs> hey, there's no evidence to prove that I'm a cop for you, you know? That, that's right, there's no con contra ah, contradiction at all. There's no way there can be a contradiction, not for my pops. OBJECTION! Sebastian, I understand why you still don't want to admit it. However, if you avert your eyes from the truth, you will regret it forever. But, uh, but Pops, I... just what should I do? <laughs> really wonder... You're such an idiot, you know? Sebastian, if you really want to save me, you'll have to try a little bit harder, you see? Could I use your head, you know? Honestly, you really are a useless idiot! Uh, no, no way! But, I tried real hard. I tried my best, Pops. I went to, to the school you told me to go to reach the time of my class, just like you told me to! Just look at this jacket, only someone who graduates at the top of his class gets to wear it. I did everything you told me to do, that's how I got to be the best at the academy! I even won all those awards, just so I could be like you, Pops. Objection! Objection. <sighs> you really are such an idiot, you know. <gasps> you know those cold songs you got on your tests? I mean the teachers give them to you. Every speech and debate contest. <laughs> all the judges were my friends. You know, Sebastian? If you weren't even able to notice something like that, you're really not worthy of being called my son, don't you think? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, even my own son has disappeared. <laughs> oh my, it's enough to make me cry, you know? Don't tease me like that, Edgeworth. Objection! 
Your son must have realized the truth before anyone else. That's why she was trying so desperately to protect you. You were also worried that he would tell the truth. Isn't that what you drove your son away from here? Because he knew his father was hiding a burn under his fake beard. <sighs> Lays the best. How about you remove that fake beard of yours? <sighs> Ah, oh, a burn mark. Um, is something wrong? <laughs> Kay, I am returning something very important to you. Ah, this is. Always greet people with a smile, even people you don't know. Never cry in front of strangers. Look, Daddy! I wrote them all down! Yep! I'll be sure to follow all of our promises and become a hero just like you, Daddy! Ah! That's right! There was one more. I forgot to write down the most important promise. Promise number five. Always try your hardest to learn about things you don't understand. <laughs> I'll be sure to remember. I'll never, ever forget them. <gasps> Always try your hardest to learn things you don't understand. That's right! I'm... I am... <gasps> I am the great thief who steals the truth, Kay Faraday. I'm the second Yada Grassi when I'm Mr. Edward's assistant. Kay, you remember? <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, though. Thank you so much. It's all thanks to you, Mr. Edward. Even when I lost my memories, you were still trying to save me, right? <sighs> Seems like you're back to normal. You two must be acquainted. I don't know what kind of relationship you have with John, but at the very least, the two of you must be acquaintances. <laughs> Judge Courtney, won't you allow us to help you in your search for him? Uh, hell? N no, that won't be allowed. Who won't allow it? The so-called goddess of law? The, the person who knows where the child is. A kidnapper? <laughs> I course. see. Finally, I've connected all the pieces of the puzzle. The reason why you cannot easily talk about John was because someone kidnapped him, isn't that right? Uh, that's... Uh, mm -hmm. Judge Courtney, I would like to hear the truth from your lips. I, I understand this time. I will truly be prepared for the worst. It is just as you deduced. Someone has kidnapped John. Hmm, as I thought. There was a kidnapping. Still... How is John's kidnapping related to you in any way? J John and I are... Mother and child. What? And now I am no longer just a child chasing after his father's approval. I've become capable. I can find evidence on my own now. My men kidnapped you! Why were you? Objection! Objection! Hops, I'll show you the truth you never knew through this trial. 
Sebastian! How dare you speak to me like that? You should have just stayed as an idiot soon. You, you may have hated me to the very end, Pop. But I... I've always looked up to you. Thank you for everything up until now. And goodbye. You... Since when did you... All you've ever been able to do was depend on me! So back still! Eighteen years ago, your father hit a body in the same way. What? What? My father? The one who abandoned me? Did the same thing? <laughs> Who would have guessed that both father and son would use the same me message? It's not like presenting your badge. Objection! Stop it! Don't lump me in with that guy. That man he isn't that boy yet. My father. I'm nothing like him. There's not a single connection between us. Objection! You may think so, but even now, your bond with Mr. Gustavia still remains. A heart to believe? Didn't you say once before? I don't like sweets. <laughs> that may have came from the shock of losing your father, don't you think? Uh, you guys have no idea what you say. Even if you deny your father, aren't your thoughts and actions the same? <laughs> Particularly, your belief of sacrificing others to protect yourself. And finally, your crimes were brought to light just as his were. Uh, no. No. Uh, uh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> uh, I don't know a thing about that. The warehouse I had nothing to do with kidnapping after all. Simon, the animals have gotten angry. Even Manny and Asti. You never thought of them as your friends at all. How sad. <laughs> Dennis, don't you look at me with those eyes. <laughs> hmm. It's about time you went back to being a mere clown. <laughs> a fitting end to your pitiful jester's act. Oh, oh, stay away. Get away from me. Stop it. Stop it. Please stop it. Daddy, I'm scared. Help me. I'm so scared. I don't know anything. I didn't do anything bad. And they were the bad ones, weren't they? Of <laughs> course. <laughs> Why? Why did you stop me? If you hadn't done that, I... I... <laughs> I couldn't even trust the police. Nobody would help me. <clears throat> but that man isn't that far yet. Back then, he saved me. <laughs> The only one who helped me was Dogen, so I used everyone else. What's wrong with that? No, stop it. Don't stop. Stop. Don't stop. 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 No, not you. No, 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 no. Please. No. A new contradiction comes to light. Oh. <laughs> 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 By the way, I'm, I'm, I'm actually sweating like fuck right now. <laughs> yeah, this is good. Another one. <laughs> <sighs>